Okay, so today I'm going to be making this little Lego Halo figure march, and he's going to walk across. He's going to be doing a marching movement, so it's very straightforward. We're going to put him at about face on one end and take a picture. So he's just straight up, you know? Okay, take his right leg and move it just a little bit so that his leg is in between the next two studs. And also, take his left arm and extend it a little bit forward. And you can even take the left, the right arm and move it back a little bit. What we're going for is trying to recreate the natural swinging mov movement of our arms. So a good way to remember when you're animating a, a walking figure, any walking figure really, is that if one leg goes forward, the opposite arm follows the same movement. So if the back leg is going back, this arm goes back, or stays forward, but it's fine, like this. Now we're going to take a picture. Okay, now he's still rooted to the same spot he was. We're going to lift the right leg even more, raise the other arm, the left arm, even more. You can put the right arm back a little bit. Kind of push him forward just a little bit to make it seem like he's moving. One, two. See, that's where we are. One, one. One, two. Take that picture. And now, the big movement, we're going to have him jump this, this, uh, to this next stud. You know, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to put his leg down, and you can just tilt him, see, and then pull him upwards. That's the easiest way to do this. Now that his right leg has gone down, what we want to do is push the right arm down a little bit and start moving the arms in the opposite direction. His back leg, his left leg, is backwards a little bit, but the right leg is now fully on the ground. So see, he makes this kind of jump. Boom! That's his step. And this is good for soldiers or marching armies or anything like that if you're animating with them. Okay, now for the next movement, put his arms all the way back straight and put the, the other leg down straight. So now we're back at the original position and you take that picture. And now we just have to do the same thing with the other leg. We take the right leg this time Move it forward a little bit, just so it's in between the two studs. Take the right arm, move it forward a little bit, and even the back arm back a little bit. See? Also be careful, you see the difference here in where we were? We were straight, and now in this next frame that I'm about to take, he's leaning over backwards. A good animator makes sure that it's always, he's always either in the same spot or leaning forward. I guess I moved it a little bit. There's another tip. Always have your model uh, taped down or put, put, uh, somehow nailed down so that it doesn't look like it's moving. This is a very bad example. It's a good example of what not to do. So make sure your set or your model's taped down. So now we'll take that picture. We're going to raise the left foot even more. We're gonna move the hands forward a little more. We need this one forward a little bit. So it's a more exaggerated posture, you see? This is at the very ends of where he can move. One, two, one, two, see? So take that picture. And now just put him back in his Put the left leg down. Here's how you do this. this. is the easiest way. Just tilt him so that the left leg uh, attaches to the stud and then pull him upwards. It'll keep the legs in the same spot because the other leg can't move in between the studs. And then just move the, the hands down a little bit. See that step? Boom. One, two, one, two, march. And they take the picture. All right, now just move the, the leg forward a little bit. Put the arms down and 
take the next picture. And now we're officially back to the very first frame that we took. So if I play this back, it's very fast, but you can see that he's, he's walking. And I know it's flickering a little bit here, but he's walking forward in a marching-like position. And that's really all it takes to make this marching um, movement. You could slow it down. You see? So he's really just going one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it looks very, very kind of funny, but it looks uh, pretty convincing, you know? And if you continue with a whole walk cycle like that, you could have a very convincing a set of soldiers. If you animated a bunch of these guys, it would be very interesting. So that's how you do the walking cycle, the or at least a uh, marching cycle. And this is a cycle where, remember, his back is always straight. You can see in everything that I did here, his back is always straight. So he's always completely upright. See? Well, I think there are some frames at the beginning that don't belong there. Oh, yeah, I didn't delete them. The beginning frames that I took before. Whoops. Well, whatever. That's okay. You got the idea. You saw what I did. Anyway, that's the tutorial. I hope this helps you. I hope you can make your own walking animations. Tune in next time for more tutorials. Please subscribe. Um, I'm on Flickr and YouTube and Twitter. Of course, I'm on YouTube. You're watching me on YouTube. But Twitter and Facebook, I'm posting all the time. I'm at Coobers on Twitter and Coobers Studios on Facebook. Find it, like it, share it, subscribe. I really appreciate it. We'll have more tutorials and other videos from Cooper Studios soon. Take care, everybody. Uh, Cooper Studios.